Today is a special day, guys, because I finally get my hands on Elden Ring. I finally get to play it. I cannot wait to jump right in. And if you're starting at level one with hardly anything, everything that you get means something. And I think that that is something that, uh, that sounds really cool to me. So I'm, I think, let's do it. Let's do it. I know what we're gonna do. I wanted to create Dr. Manhattan in the flesh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Okay, all right. And here we go. The fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered. That kind of reminds me of Lord of the Rings. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. Queen Marika? Okay. And in the night of the Black Knives, oh. Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Oh man, that looks horrible. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. Oh yeah, that totally reminds me of Lord of the Rings. Trying to get the, the shards. Taint of their newfound strength. Oh, Triggered the shattering. Man, that is gnarly. A war from which no lord arose. A war. Oh my gosh. To abandonment. I want to frame that. Oh, I want to take that picture and just frame it. it was so pretty. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the Deathbed Companion. Deathbed Companion? The loathsome Dung Eater. And Sir Gideon Othmere, the All Knowing. Wow, this soundtrack sounds so good. It sounds so good. <laughs> oh man, that was so good. And one other whom Grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Of no, well, we will be renowned soon. People will know, Dr. Manhattan. Across the fog, to the lands between. To stand before the Elden Ring. And become the Elden Lord. Become the Elden Lord. Okay. Wow. All right. My mind. I'm. Just, I'm just like trying to trying to. Can can. I can't even think of the word right now. I'm just. I'm just trying to comprehend everything. That's what I was trying to say. Oh my gosh. Words. Words are hard. Words are hard, guys. Um. 
Okay. So uh, it was interesting that they didn't use like a cinematic. I was expecting that it would just be a cinematic, you know, same as uh, even the remastered series had a cinematic at the beginning. And this was mostly almost like art, you know, like like pictures and the pictures told the story, you know, obviously you have the narration, of course. Um, but the pictures were super impactful. You didn't even need a cutscene. I mean, that was that was awesome. Uh, and that artwork was so pretty. Some of those, some of those pieces were amazing. Um, I would love to find that one with that knight where she was holding her arm. Ah, um, oh, that one was so cool. That one was so cool. Um, man, okay, so there's there's so much stuff. So like Queen Merica is missing, and then she has a bunch of uh, children, and they're all demigods, and they're all fighting to. For, for pieces of the of the Elder Ring, or Elden Ring, and that's what triggered uh, the Shattering, right? So I'm really interested to see kind of where the story goes. I know that J.J.R. Martin was uh, um, kind of like involved as, as far as, you know, the story goes. I don't know how much he, uh, his involvement, you know, shaped everything. But I'm, I'm excited to see kind of like, you know, what the story actually is. Uh, so I want to see what we picked up here. So we got our map. Oh my gosh, guys. Having this also be open world, I, oh man, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Like, is the map literally only this because we haven't explored anything and it's going to be the entire screen or what? I don't know how big it's going to be. Um... But I'm excited. I am so excited. Okay, so you can use tools from the inventory, right? This looks very much like something I'm familiar with. Ah, so it's how you write messages. Okay, so it's like a soapstone. And for those of you watching, if I am referencing the remastered series only, you're like, oh. Dark Souls 2 calls it this, or Dark Souls 3 calls it that. I haven't played it yet. I haven't played it yet, guys. So the remastered is all I know. So it's all I'm going to be comparing things to. But already, it you know, it, like I said, it feels familiar, which is which is cool. Um, let me see. Let me see. Make sure that I have all the controls. So the B is still the roll. Yep, you hold it and you can run. Okay, but now A is jump. And then I think Y was how I picked things up. So that's going to be a little bit different because I think A was the kind of interaction button. Can you... Let's see. Okay, so it looks like you can jump attack. Nice. Okay. So for remastered, like I said, we definitely played the cleric. I see a fo I already see the fog door, so I'm taking a second. Um, so we played the cleric. We we used the cleric to mostly heal, and then probably like maybe two thirds of the way through the playthrough, I ended up kind of specking into strength more, uh, just because I felt like strength had all the cool weapons, um, and I I felt like I wasn't doing that much like as much damage as as I should. Um, but there was just i don't know i mean i would i definitely will have to do another playthrough like hands down i'll have to do another playthrough there was tons of things that i missed tons of things that you know i didn't know what i was doing and i feel like that's essentially also going to be this this uh this playthrough right it's your first time like you're learning things um we're going to be learning things together hopefully um Man, ah, uh, so much stuff has been out about this game, and I've tried my very, very best to not, um, uh, you know, spoil anything for myself. Uh, right away, so like right away, like I heard about, you know, that this patch was coming out, and everybody's just like, oh, like, dude, bleed, bleed is the best, bleed is amazing, blah, 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 blah. So right away, I'm like, well, shoot, if everybody's talking about that, I don't want to do that. I'm, I, I don't, I want to do something different. So I'm thinking since we're Dr. Manhattan, it only makes sense 
that we maybe will go into magic um so i'm thinking that's where we're gonna take the build so at least moving forward i kind of have an idea of already like what i should spec into um so i'm probably going to be going into intelligence um and uh let's see what else i don't know i guess i'll check and see what other stats we have here um Okay, so we got... Can I see? Ah, explanation. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Um, okay, so ruin, runes are, are like your souls. So runes are souls, essentially. So vigor is HP. FP focus. Okay, I'll have to check and see what that is. I'm not sure what focus... I see the FP up there. Endurance of stamina. Strength. Yep, okay, that'll fix your physical defense. Dexterity. Reduces casting time of spells. That's interesting. Makes you hard to get knocked off your horse. Boost magic power. Yep, okay. So that's probably what we're going to be specking into the most. Is going to be intelligence. Arcane. Attribute. Governing discovery. Holy defense vitality. And certain sorceries and incantations. Interesting. Maybe we're going to have to put some points into that as well. I don't know. That sounds interesting. Okay. So... Uh, I see a door. Dark Souls Remastered, basically right away. You got the Asylum Demon. Uh, that was so much fun. And because right away they give you a, a, a shit weapon. It was total garbage, man. It was like a hilt that did two damage. Um, and I remember that it did two damage exactly. So I'm wondering if this is kind of going to be along the same, the same things. Probably. Oh, no! They switched it up. They were like, you know what? We know that you're gonna... Oh, oh my gosh! Okay. Okay. Oh, man, I don't have any healing. I feel like we're meant to... Are we... Are we... We're not meant to beat this thing. I, I died. <laughs> I died. I lasted like 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, no. Bummer, dude. Well, classic. Classic from soft. Now I'll have to, I'll just, I'll have to call them that because I can't say Dark Souls devs because... I don't know if all those devs worked on this game. From Soft. I like our guy though. I think he turned out really well. The blue looks good. Hey buddy. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. Oh, she's got scars in her hands. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. even if it does violate the Golden Order. Ooh, what is that? What's the Golden Order? Hmm. Got some intrigue going on for sure. The Golden Order. Ah, where's Torrent?
Ah, okay, so this is how we heal. Flask of Crimson Tears. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Okay, so this this is probably like our tutorial section, probably. Learn how to die many, many times. Take the plunge. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. Oh, I thought, oh, I'm surprised. I thought that was gonna hurt us. Did not. Ah, so Sights of Grace are basically bonfires. Okay, cool. All right, so these are these are basically bonfires. Lost Grace discovered. Oh yeah, I already know how to lock onto a target, baby. Done. Done. Wait, how did I two-hand this? I don't even know. This Y's not doing anything. Uh, I don't have a shield. Don't have a shield to guard with. Oh, what was that? Oh, it used up my blue. It used up my blue stuff. Jump. Acquire materials. Oh, that's cool. Oh man, I'm a sucker for uh, for crafting stuff. Did anybody play New World? I know that it wasn't the best game, but I definitely played that a, a, a good amount of time. I did put a good amount of time into New World. Okay, left bumper. Ah, okay. Perfect. And then, oh, I don't have anything else to put. Oh, what was the kick? What is that? Whoa! Okay, so that's how you get around people with shields. Oh. My gosh. Oh, I'm gonna use the heck out of that. That was like the backstab on steroids. That was so cool. I wonder if you can do it to people that don't have... Oh, no, you can't. I was wondering if, if you could do it to just regular enemies. Makes sense that you can't, though. Yeah, no, you can't. That would be so cool. I guess it would make... It wouldn't make sense, though, if you could. Oh! Oh, he's still alive! He's still alive. We didn't kill him. Oh, okay, armaments. That's what I was using. Oh, and those consume FP. Okay, so that's what FP is, okay. So in order to use your skills, you need the FP. Whoa. Okay, so that heavy was different. So whenever I'm using the armament, you have different move sets maybe? Oh, and you can crouch. We can sneaky sneak. Oh, the backstab. So good. It is so good. So satisfying. Still super satisfying. Oh, you don't have to tell me how to get a backstab. That's my bread and butter, baby. 
That's my bread and butter. Oh, breaking enemy stance. Okay, so charged or jump or a jump charge. Let's try that. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay. From soft, I see you. I see you. You were like, oh, you like you like the backstab? Then I raise you with a charged, with a jump, with a jump charged. Oh, I just realized I haven't turned on the music yet. Okay, I'll, I'll turn it up. I'll turn it up right after this. Jump charge. Oh. Oh, that did like all his damage. Or all, all his health. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can totally see the utilization for the jump in this game. Uh, where is it? Ah, here it is. Here we go. Now maybe we'll get some music going in a second. All right, that is super cool. Strength. Oh, it's oh, it's probably a gesture. Let's see. Uh, switch. Strength. Okay. Hey, and we all we we know all about gestures. That's my that's my main one right there. Looks like they they still had some similar ones to uh, Dark Souls. Okay, and this is where we were. Whoa, what's that? There's something up there. I just realized that. There is something up here. I know, I know. There's got it. There's probably a way. There's probably a way back somehow. Just like in Dark Souls, you needed the. Uh... Oh, what was it? Oh, you just needed to go into the nest. You just needed to go into the bird nest, and then they took you back. And you got like the sacred doll, or the peculiar doll. That's what it was. Peculiar doll. All right, so we can pass time. Flasks. Increase amount. Oh, we did get that seed, right? Sacred tear. Oh, that's not, that's not it. Ah, so you can allocate uh, the number of flasks that you have. Okay, cool. Oh, maybe this one. Ah, yeah, golden seed. Nice. Okay, so now we have four. So I'm thinking I do probably want to keep... Um, I might want to keep one just because it seems like the charge... Like those charged attacks and stuff like that now are pretty good. Yeah, we don't know any spells yet. Not yet, but we will. Oh, trust me, we will. All right, so let's see. Uh, okay, so we can't go through here for whatever reason. Not sure. Use stone sword key. Okay, well, I don't have that. I don't have any, I don't really have anything right now, unfortunately. <laughs> Ah, to write a, a gold summon sign. Oh, that's interesting. You have a compass at the top of the screen that indicates the direction of the summoner. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that's how you send them back. And then this is how we can be summoned. 
Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Super cool. All right. I definitely want to use that. I'm, I want to see if we can get summoned. That would be so cool. That was one of the things I was a little disappointed about with the Dark Souls playthrough is that I couldn't, uh, I couldn't summon. I, I, I was, I wasn't able to play basically multiplayer at all. That, that entire, uh, that entire playthrough. Like, I think, uh, I think I was able to use it up until like episode like three, I think, or something like that. And then the servers went down because they were having problems. Okay, so this makes it easier to summon. Do you use this? Okay. Interesting. Uh, I wonder how that... Okay, so this pouch. This pouch we can, we can hotkey stuff. Let's, uh... Yeah, I guess we'll just hockey these two things. Doesn't look like we can use that, though. How do... Okay, so why? Oh, it's not showing up, though. Oh. Okay. This one was still grayed out, though, right? Yeah, I, I can't use it, so maybe I'll just take that one away. All right. Let's see a side of grace here. We got a guy. Ah, the golden rays will guide you along your, uh, or the golden rays will guide you along your way. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're supposed to head that way. Interesting, okay. Okay, okay. Oh yes, tarnished are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course yes. you have. We Don't are here for Elden Ring. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Man, what is this guy's deal? He's all... Is this blood? Is he covered in blood? The heck? Luckily for you, however... There is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace, the golden light that gives life to you tarnished? You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Hmm, okay. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly. To Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Grafted. Godric the Grafted? It's time you set off, I should think. To Castle Stormvale. Okay, so it's obviously cliff, that. Where Grace would guide you, if you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. 